This is the plaintiff, Andrew Dion. He says he rented space in the defendant's warehouse to store some of his belongings, and the guy let other people in, and the place was ransacked. But that wasn't bad enough. The defendant then took it upon himself to toss the rest of his stuff. He had no right to do that, since he was all paid up, and he's here suing him for the $1,600 he's owed. This is the defendant, Robin Chang. He says the area the plaintiff rented was an open space, and he knew others were renting there, too. Then the guy disappeared, stopped paying the rent, thereby breaking his lease and abandoning the junk he left behind. Owe this guy money for a trumped-up list of things he claims are missing? Ha! Ah, he's accused of throwing it all away. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $200, the cost to remove the plaintiff's junk. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff rented space from the defendant. The place he rented got looted, and he lost some of his stuff. The landlord threw out the rest. Now, the defendant says the guy abandoned it. It's the case of Space Case. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Andrew Dion? Yes, ma'am. You're suing Robin Chang and International Parallel Machines Incorporated for $1,600 that you say you are owed... You just amended that, right? It was fourteen hundred yes, until yes. today. Sixteen hundred dollars that you say you are owed in items you had in storage, which he got rid of. According to you, you got rid of them because he stopped paying and left them behind. You also have a counterclaim against him for two hundred dollars that you are, according to you, are still owed to remove and clean the debris he left behind. Let me hear from you first, Mr. Dion. What happened here? Um, I went on Craigslist looking for a storage space. I buy in. I buy storage lockers, um, so I need a place to store more stuff because I overbought. Um, he had it out on there for... What do you do with the storage lockers you buy? Uh, we usually sell it at yard sales, flea markets, um, stuff like that. Who's we? Uh, me, my mother, and my employee. Okay. Um, so we, we overbought this time. We got a good deal, so we bought extra. Needed a place to store it. So I went on Craigslist. I found his ad for storage space available. It said secure, clean storage. So we went there. Um, we looked at the warehouse. It was a full floor of warehouse. He said nobody else is renting it. You can have the, the, the warehouse space. I said, okay. Um, we went in a few times, Walt, to check on our stuff. Walt was there to add stuff, go through things. He says, you don't know what you're getting when you buy it. You have to go through it. So we went in there to do that. We realized that all the boxes had been torn open. It was just ransacked. I made a complaint to Mr. Chang about okay, this. Okay, how long had your stuff been in there before you noticed that? Not even two weeks. Okay. Um, and we, this was what month and year? Uh, this was June. Of? June is when I rented it, of 2015. Of? Okay. Um, well, let me backtrack for a second. I actually, when I, when I rented the space, he asked for first and last month's rent, which How much I paid was that? him. Uh, I think it was $800. How much were you paying him rent? Uh, it was, I think it was, two, it was $400 for two spaces for the, the whole mill to clear, to use it. So how much are you paying him rent? $400 a month? $400 a month. Do you have your, your, did you sign a lease? He did have a sign a lease. He was supposed to get us a copy of it. Okay, but you don't release something without taking a picture of each page or insisting on a copy right then. So the bottom line is you signed a legal document. You have no idea what it says because you don't I, have it. Well, I read what it said, but he was supposed to get us a copy. Of, well, okay. no, not, not Can exactly, Can I please have Honor. the lease? Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're paying $200 a month. Yeah, he doubled it afterwards. That's why he... he I'm tried, sorry. He tried to double he, it You after. can't just double it. Yeah, either you, no, no, but stop. I need proof that you paid him double the rent. By accident, I guess. I don't know what you're saying. I don't have it. I paid the first and last month security. The first month and last month is what I gave him. How much money do you say you paid on day one? He got $400 on day one. Day one, you got $400. He got $400. And that represented what? It was, it was supposed to be the first and last month's rent, according to him. Then the rent him. is $200 a month. If it's first and last month's rent, you divide it by two. If you divide 400 by two, then each month is 200 Not 500 yes, not like you said in your statement, not 400 a month like you're saying now. The agreement is $200 a month. That's why you paid 400 because that was first and last. You get it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, so you pay him 400 that day. What else did you ever pay him? Uh, nothing. So I was, uh, it was only two weeks into it that we had a problem. Okay, we were so vacated. two weeks into it, you go in, you're, you're, and, and it appears to you? Or how do you know things have been ransacked? Everything is everywhere. Boxes are all torn up. They're upside down. Everything is just gone through. Okay, now... These boxes was neatly taped and stored. Who had access to the place? Uh, he did. He closed. He, when, we, when we rented it, we were understanding that was a locked door behind us. Then when we went in there, we realized that he had people living in the mill. 
The guy had a dog without in there. Without a locked door behind you? Without a lock. The door does lock. When, when you walk, when you walk, when you go up the elevator, there's a like a shaft elevator. You go up it. There's one giant door, like an old 1800s door. You open it. The warehouse is open. Okay. What was he renting out? The warehouse, the floor. Okay, to you. And then, according to you, he started to rent out what to separate people? No, no, no. no. He didn't rent out separately. He has on, on the other, other floors. Other floors. Yeah, he has people that have, like, you go down a couple of steps, and there's, like, rooms. Uh, uh, how, how did those people have access to your floor? Right by the elevator. All they have to do is go up and then the elevator doors? I thought you said there was a door. It was supposed to be locked. There's no okay, lock so on it. Okay, so what you're saying is, he, uh, how do you know he didn't lock it? Because there was no lock on it when we went up there when we first rented it. And then you trusted when he said, I'll put a lock on it. Yes. Then you go back in two weeks, is there a lock on it? No. Uh, yeah. There, no, there was no lock in two weeks. Okay. And you walk in and there's stuff missing. Yes, there's stuff you missing. You tell him, hey, there's stuff missing. Yes. And what does he say? He said, it's not my control. He goes, I, I keep the door closed. I said, well, keep the, the door closed. Clo closed yeah. or locked? Closed. Okay, did you say, well, do you keep it locked? I asked for a lock to be put on the door. I said, we need to lock this because my stuff's up here. Okay, so you asked for a lock on that two-week mark after things are missing, and what did he say? He said he'll, he's, his exact words were, nobody can get in there, nobody goes in there. How, my tenants are respectful. How do, do people on another floor have access to that? Uh, normally, no. Uh, there's a door. Uh, may I? Yeah, please come up, because okay. I think you're the guy who handed us his floor plan, and he's saying this yeah. floor plan is... There's a door here that uh, Andrew is talking about. And uh, uh, there are people, there are five uh, tenants here that occupy- Residential? The, no, they, they, they are like internet companies. Or, okay. Uh, 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 and there's a door here that's normally locked. However, you know, this space uh, we, is open storage that we rented out one bay to him. And it's in, there's a floor plan on it with the lease. And, and then uh, sometimes, you see, during the day, there are people here using the doors. So sometimes the doors open. Wait, and, what, why are they using the door? Why isn't his stuff locked away? Uh, because the whole place is locked. And these, uh, at that time, there were three tenants in here. Oh, so he doesn't have the whole place? He only has one bay in it? Correct. Why isn't his bay locked? Why are there other tenants with access to his it, stuff? It, it's open. It's not a self-storage space. It's assisted storage. And I don't give anybody the key. Tenants lease space, 1,000 square feet more or less on the fourth floor, as depicted by the attached floor plan. And then this is the attached floor plan to the lease. And this, just this little part here is the part he gets? Correct. Correct. And, and since it's open And it's open all space, open. Yeah, since now, it, at the time that he rented, nobody else was using it? There were other two There tenants. were other people? Yes. What separates his bay from other people's bay? Just, just the poles. Poles, and that's it? That, that's, why, that's why we don't let the tenants go in. We, we accompany them. Okay. When they go so in. So how, how did he get in if you didn't let him in? Oh, uh, that's my question, okay? I, <laughs> did you get a key from one of the other tenants? Nobody has a key. How did you ever get in the, the time that you went in the with The door them? is wide open, and then you go up to the elevator, and you open the door, and it's there. Go ahead and go back. You go in there, and there's stuff missing. You tell him you want to lock, and what happens? He doesn't put one. I told him I was going to be leaving. I said, this is not secure enough for me. I'm going to pack my stuff, and I'm going to move. Did you pack your stuff we, and leave? Yes, we did. We started. We took two trailers out of there. We came back. Um, he had already put a lock on the door. Okay. And now then, he locked us out. Okay, now hold on. What month is this when that happens? This is the beginning of July. Okay, and you had paid June and July, I guess, because July. you had paid two months. Yes. So according to you, he locks you out in the beginning of July. Yes. And he had two months from you. Yes. Okay, did you call the police when you went? And we did. They when you say locked you out, he put a lock like you had asked him to. Yeah. Okay, did you uh, call him and say, I need to get in there to get the rest of my stuff out? I did. He wouldn't answer. He didn't. He, the only time he ever talked to me, he actually called me like 20 times over a pizza box. Because the guy, we were working there with a bunch of guys and we, they, we ordered pizza. So there was an empty box there. And when like, was that? Uh, the end of June, before we were started moving Okay, do out. you have any evidence that you would call him and he would not respond to your calls once the lock that you requested got put on, such that he was denying you access to the place in July? Um, do you have any texts from you to him, emails from you to him, I, letters, I snail mail? No, he, we, we just go there. Phone records? 
I have Metro. They don't do those. We tried that already. I went there for those. I mean, any evidence had, at all that you were trying to reach out to him and he wasn't responding to your call? We, we did have the police department show up. When? Um, in the beginning of July. Okay. We did have Do you them. have any evidence a police department showed up? No, because they said it was civil. They don't do reports if it's a civil matter. That's why we had to go to a small claims court with it. So go ahead. Um, after the lock was put on, we went back there again. He finally did give us access. We went up there. Almost everything was gone. We questioned him before we called the police department on where the stuff had gone. He had another man put an ad on Craigslist to give my stuff away. I how asked do you know, him. How do you know what you're saying? Because he told me. When did you? Okay. At some point, according to you, he just stops paying rent. Well, uh, he never paid me since the first time he paid me $400. Right. But then the, so the first time he pays you is in June. That covers June to July, right? June what to July what? Um, it's the first and last First month. to the end of the... So it covers June. Then you have last month. And he, according to him, he tells you in July, I'm leaving. Is that true? Well, first of all, we signed a one-year lease. Right. And uh, he's not supposed to leave to in just the middle. Leave. Okay. But if, but if he has a and, dispute with you and he, he feels like it's not secure there and he says, oh, I'm going to move my stuff out... Your remedy, of course, is to go to court and sue him for if you, you know, are losing rent money or whatever else. But according to him, he's calling you and asking you to let him in so he can get his stuff out. Is that true? Well, before that, uh, uh, before that, the month, uh, the second month, uh, July, you know, he did he did not pay me. Right. And I called and I called and I called and, and nobody ever answered. Okay. So Do you I have any he, proof that you called him? Uh, no. And how did you call him? On your cell I phone? By, uh, I called by, I used my office phone. Why are you going like this? You have a rotary phone in your office? <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? I have I another try to tenant understand in one of those five spaces. Uh, okay. And he, he sent me this email. Okay. Uh, which is in the evidence. Okay, let me see it. Oh. So... You received this email from one of the tenants saying, I have two interested parties for the removal of the fourth floor abandoned stuff. All right, that's on August 21st. Yes. But I need your help. This is from him to you. Please have your guys remove the stuff from the electro and put it out next to the other stuff so they can see it all when they come. They will not look at it in this condition. Most importantly, boxes of material and cardboard are pressed up against the fuses. If you are smart, you will have the guys remove all of the stuff immediately. If the fire department ever saw that, it would be the end for you. <laughs> all right. Well, I so have to mention. This is, okay, hold on. This is oh. August 21st. So this is nearing the end of August because according to you, did, were you able to reach him in July or August? No. See, the, the question is, I, he is telling me, yes, Judge, end of August, I tried to get rid of his stuff. He agrees. Okay. But the question is, does he have a right to do that because he can't find you? That's why I need to see phone records, emails, texts, some kind of evidence of reaching each other. That's very important in a case like this. So how did you get rid of his stuff? Um, this tenant uh, helped me. He, he put how much a, money did you make getting rid of his stuff? Nothing. It was free. Oh, you just wanted it out of there. Well, so why are you counterclaiming the, the, for $200 for having to get rid of his stuff? The tenant, okay, I, uh, the tenant... Uh, put an ad in the Craigslist for, for them to get rid of the junk. And, and then what this family What was there? Came. When you say junk, what was it that was there? Because he claims, he says that it was six air conditioners, four humidifiers, six television sets, two boxes of electronics and DVD players, six boxes of household items, I don't know what that is, uh, rims for a truck and some truck parts. That's what he says was in the, there. In fact, he has so many TVs, there were some on the loading dock downstairs. Okay, what kind of TVs were and these? And these are old uh, with the CRT tube uh, TVs. Okay. And, 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 and he... Let me ask you a question. Is this a lease you signed? Does anyone have pictures of the space or pictures of the stuff in the space? Or Yes. You do? All right, my bailiff will get it from you in a moment. The first six uh, were taken in September. The last one was taken in August. What is this a picture of, though? This is a picture of the space that he's renting. Okay, but all this, that, this, the junk I'm seeing here is somebody yes. else's. See, the recycle company came, and they took only the metal. They didn't take the rest of the stuff and disappeared. And they never paid anybody. Did you get rid of the rest of the stuff? 
Eventually, yes. I waited several months before I got rid of them because I, I, I was. Do you have proof that it cost you two hundred dollars to get rid of it? It's my people. My people can. Okay, and, so you, and that would be a no. Is this, did you sign this lease? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. And clause number six, it says, any losses or damages of tenant's property or personal injury shall be covered by tenant's own insurance. Landlord is not responsible for tenant's damages of any kind. Did you have insurance? I didn't. How are you going to get around this? Because there's a difference between a loss of... Da I'm not suing him for the loss I took when somebody robbed me. I'm suing him for the lease he broke. So the contract says landlord's not responsible for lost stuff. Advises him to get insurance, and he doesn't. Is he out of luck? Yes, he's out of luck because he didn't get insurance. What if the landlord was somewhat responsible for the loss? Does that change anything? If he if he caused it, how would the landlord cause? The I don't loss? know. He leaves a door open or something, and people come in and loot it. So the landlord left. Suppose he did. Suppose he does. <laughs> is is a tenant still out of luck? <laughs> Say I, yes. I think contractually yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, going inside the courtroom. How did he break the lease when you didn't pay July and August? Because there's a civil matter. He should have taken me to court if that was that much of an issue to him. No, no, no. You're wrong. There's a there's a law called abandoned property, and if a if you if you just take off and nobody can find you, if that's the case, you know I know you're disputing that, yeah. but if it if that's the case that you just take off and you leave all your junk behind for, to make to make it somebody else's problem, and you're not paying rent. The landlord only has to stick around wondering where you are for 30 days. At that point, he, you know, he, he turns around. He's been missing for 30 days. I don't, I, you know, I can't find him. I called him. I tried, you know, then it's abandoned property. But according to him, you haven't even told him, hey, we're leaving. And you, don't, you can't show me any proof that you ever told him we're leaving, right? Uh, well, I, no, I spoke to him. He yeah, knows. watch this. Did he speak to you and tell you he was leaving? Uh, towards the end of August. How far into the end of August did he tell you he was leaving? That's the first it time he tells like you he was leaving? Yes. It Is was, this before uh, or after August 21st? The last week of uh, so August. So it's after the guy helped you to get some stuff out? Correct. After he tells you he's leaving in August, does he go in and take the rest of his stuff out? He went in. He went in. He picked and chose. He picked some stuff. When, according to you, was the last time that you were there? Um, last week in July, beginning of August. Because Is that what your mother told you to say? No, she, she okay. reminded me, but yeah. All right, so, and um, so the last week of July, why didn't you take all of the valuable stuff if, according to your testimony by then, you had already gone there, already seen that it wasn't locked up, and already had stuff missing? Why didn't you take the most valuable of the stuff to you, like... Everything was already... every Everything, like, was scattered around. We had to... What get, does scattered we, around have to do with anything? We had to... We got a U-Haul trailer to load it. Was the stuff still there, or wasn't it, the stuff you're suing for? When I went there, it was pretty much everything was gone. If it was all gone, then it's your liability under paragraph number six. I understand that. If it was that, all still there, why didn't you take it? You, get, we, you we can't were, have it both ways. No, we were Either taking it. Either the stuff is still there and you didn't remove it, okay, which is kind of strange, or the stuff was already missing and that's why you didn't remove it. And if the stuff was already missing, you are supposed to have insurance on it. You know what? We're done. I find that you have not sustained your burden of proving the case against him. And as far as the counterclaim of $200 is kind of, you know, well, I have my guys clean up. That doesn't a counterclaim make. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. And so the plaintiff just unable to tack together a story that makes sense here in the courtroom and that can prove your case. So uh, what's your reaction to losing it? I, I lost. I mean, I should have had more evidence, but I couldn't get it when he was supposed to give it to us. And so what happens when you come into the courtroom without evidence? I lost. That's what happens. Uh, you know, your story, she gave you every chance in the world to put cobble together the story and make it work and make sense and it just kept falling apart yes because she didn't let me answer the questions oh, we you? do flea markets on the weekends oh. certain flea markets sell certain things so you have so to you gotta bring it. the certain things that'll sell at that flea market yeah. and then the certain things that'll sell at the other flea market mm -hmm. well, maybe you guys can get a reality show about the business yeah out of this all right hit hit it head down I'll the corner back they got thrown out okay step on in here sir and so uh you win this case and what's this What's this been like? It's a tough well, business. You, you, you run a tough business there. Uh, yes, I think uh, $200 a month is very cheap already. And, and, and then uh, I still get into trouble. I, I still do, uh, cannot get my rent. And uh, he, in fact, he told me that he, I have to rent a dumpster for him to throw away the garbage. And, and I, I did not. You know, I said, you are supposed to get the dumpster for your stuff. And so, so he left the garbage there. All it's right. a big mess. That's, uh, that's yours now. 
Well, it's already thrown away. Harvey? <laughs> I got to tell you something. We have seen these cases with Michael Jackson, even, where he rents storage space, doesn't pay, and all of a sudden, it's the storage company's property. It all says in the contract when it's abandoned. It varies from place to place. Read it.